How to delete negative Google reviews step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, if you're someone that is starting their business and you get a couple of negative Google reviews, that can be quite difficult on your business. Sometimes Google reviews can really deter your potential customers to visiting your location or your store, and it can harm your business greatly. Now, negative Google reviews are not always a bad thing and do not always need to be removed. Plus, you cannot directly remove or delete negative Google reviews, but I will be showing you guys exactly how you can report them to get them removed. And if the review is turned out to be valid and the customer is verified, so they potentially visited your store and their experience is what they shared, then their review can only be removed by the original poster. So someone else just can't jump in and delete the review. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that if you have a Google business listing and you have tens and thousands of reviews and you only have one or two bad reviews, then it's not really that important that you get them removed, especially if the reviews are valid. I've left these reviews myself because I want to show you guys how to get them removed. But if you have a bunch of five star reviews and you have one or two one star reviews, that does not negatively impact your business. The reason for that is it shows that your business is a real place and you can always respond with a courteous comment. So one thing that I recommend, especially if it's from a genuine customer, so they might have left a one star review because let's say that you were running a restaurant and the vegetables weren't cooked just the way that they like it. So instead of writing a long reply and being mean to a customer, I recommend for most businesses that they should reply with a courteous response. So you can click on the review and you will reply publicly as the business that you have listed as. And you can write a courteous reply, something like, so a reply like this uh, where you're just acknowledging the customer's complaint you're like hey we hope that our business improves the next time you visit also could you inform us of any of the issues that you face at our business or of any of the things that you found not to be that great off our business so you can ask a customer like this now this is a very simple response Another great way to actually get a customer to, you know, rethink their review or rewrite their review is simply by offering a discount coupon. So you can offer them a free visit, a free meal, a 10%, 20%, 50%, whatever is suitable for your business. And you can be like, hey, we're going to provide you with a free meal the next time that you visit our restaurant, or we're going to provide you with a free facial the next time you visit our spa, like that. And you can offer them that redemption coupon. The reason for this is that if it is a valid review and it cannot be removed, then the only person that can edit that or remove that review is that original customer. So you want to make sure that the original customer has a good opinion of your business. So you want to add that information if you want to offer them a coupon. For some businesses, it might not be the best strategy to offer coupons. So you can just reply with a simple, we hope you have a better experience next time kind of message and then move on. Now, if you find that the review that has been posted is spammy or is incorrect or false or a fake review, then you can get this reported and deleted off of your Google business listing. To do that, simply head on over to your Google business listing. And I have logged on to the email address that I have used to create my business listing. Then you want to click on read reviews on the left side. So once you click on read reviews, you will be able to see all of the reviews that you have. Let's say I have this review and I find that it is not by a authentic customer or a verified customer and someone has just wrote this as spam. So I'm going to click on these three ellipses or dots on the right side of the screen. And then you want to click on report review. Now, after that, you will see a bunch of different reasons for you reporting the review. Now you want to check off the one that suits the particular review the best. So let's say this review doesn't pertain to an experience at or with this business, or if it's spam, or if it's conflict of interest. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you can only pick out one of these. 
so make sure you choose the one that applies the best for something like oh no this sucks or something very really generalized you can obviously report it as off topic and then you also have some other categorizations such as personal information discrimination bullying profanity conflict of interest as well now once you do that you want to click on send report and then your review will be added. So you'll be notified at your particular email address when your request is processed. And it may take up to three working days to process your request. So if the review is removed or whether or not your request is accepted or rejected will be added to your Google business email address. So whichever email address you are using, you can go into the Gmail or your mailbox, whatever you might want to call it. So you can go on over here and from here you will see your removal request is being processed. You requested to remove the particular review and it is currently being assessed. Now, this is the basic generated or auto generated email that you will receive. After that, if you get any replies, you will find them directly over here and you can navigate through those replies. If you have one more than one reply or Google review that is negative, obviously you're going to have a bunch of different emails to go through. You will see that in your review section in your Google Business Profile Manager, you will also see the review over here and you can click on these and you can also click on flag as inappropriate and you can do the same thing that we just did and you're reporting a policy violation to Google. It may take three days to process your request. So if you're working directly from your Google Business Profile Manager, you can delete or, you know, request the deletion of a review from over here as well. Or you can open up your Google business listing on Chrome as we did previously. So in this way, you can delete negative Google business reviews. Keep in mind that if a review is uh, received as authentic or if a review is considered authentic by Google and they are just saying that this customer has relayed their experience, then there is nothing that you can do to remove that review. And it's not going to be something that is going to negatively impact your business if it is one review out of, you know, hundreds of reviews. So if you're ever feeling nervous about a couple of bad reviews, then you should really ease your mind and unless those are spam reviews or are actually you know violating the policies of google you shouldn't report authentic or genuine reviews keep that in mind because google will flag you instead if you're constantly reporting any review that is um, basic or that does not meet your personal standards so keep that in mind whenever you are looking into reporting reviews on your google business profile or google business listing so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries regarding google business or how you can manage your google business account leave those in the comment box down below i would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video.